Rust is loved. Rust is one of the most loved programming languages out there, topping the charts for nearly a decade. There are other opinions of course, but that is for another video. It is one of the few languages which triggers a primal I must rewrite this in Rust feeling in a lot of programmers. And it has game engines, lots of them. There are currently five games written in Rust and 50 game engines. Bevy is one of the more popular ones and is really fun to use. I've worked in Unity for a lot of my career, so the lack of an editor in Bevy was a little annoying. So I thought, how can I make this more annoying for me, but better for everyone else? No, I'm not creating an editor from scratch, but maybe Rust plus FFI plus Unity could be a thing? There have been others before me, trying to get Unity to work nicely with Rust. Tantan's attempt is awesome, and Ryan's video, while also being awesome, makes me a little concerned for his health. But I'm yet to see an attempt to use Unity as a bevy editor, and I tried, about five times. I learned a ton of things during the process. Foreign function interfaces, dynamic Unity libraries, ECS internals. Full disclosure, I don't claim to have done it either, but I think my project is destined for it. Maybe. This is Unrust. I created a bevy project where the scene authoring is done through the Unity editor. Yep. It is very rudimentary right now, but most of the effort went into setting up the foundations. You create your game in bevy and Rust. Use the Unity editor to create the scene. Another disclosure. This uses Unity ECS to sync data, so performance comparisons might be a little useless. It works with Unity, not against it though Unity might not like it too much. Here are some cubes created through ECS authoring. The authoring component is a monobehavior provided by the SDK that registers this entity as a bevy entity in Rust. And do rotate is a Rust component that gets translated into an ECS authoring component. Oh, and as you can see, I got parenting working too. There are hacks, but it works. Just about. Oh, and prefab instantiation. You define a Rust enum with all the prefabs you're expecting, and Unrust generates the C sharp side of it. Drag and drop and command.spawn into the world. Okay, here's a quick rundown of how to use this. You create a new Unity project, get the Unrust SDK as a tarball from the repository and import it using the package manager into your project. This imports the entities package and its friends, and also creates a new Rust project beside your assets folder. You don't write any C-sharp. Rust through and through, baby. Unrust generates some C-sharp, so it exists, of course. When you want to test your project, you hit Unrust Compile. It triggers a cargo build of your project and an asset refresh in Unity to pick up the new c -sharp scripts. It has been mentioned in other videos, and it is a pain that you cannot unload a shared library once it's loaded, which means a compiled game can only be loaded once unless you restart the editor. That is unacceptable. So Unrust makes a copy of the lib with a new name and loads it and unloads it at runtime. So it's a new library for Unity every time. How does Unity know about the Bevy data and vice versa? Well, there are complementary ECS systems on both sides. Bevy ECS systems look for newly spawned entities, updates for existing entities and despawned entities and calls the Unity functions to transfer over this information. Unity ECS systems do a similar thing with the Unity entities. There is a proc macro driven translation layer in the middle. Previous attempts had me parsing the Unity entity's source to generate the Rust structs, but there were way too many edge cases. So now, it's only one way, from Rust to Unity. Define Rust structs and also define what Unity expects. Proc macros wire these two up. Code generation code also reads these structs and creates appropriate C-sharp structs and functions. Because Unity does not like things happening to itself outside of the main thread, the bevy update systems are constrained to run on the main thread too, using a non-send resource. But only the bits that talk to Unity. Everything else is parallel and fast by default. All updates coming from Bevy are applied through an entity command buffer on the Unity side. Since this uses Unity ECS under the hood, 
it is also constrained by what Unity ECS can do. So I've decided to port over ECS samples to flesh out the usability of Unrust. I've got the simple Hello Cube example working, the parenting sample, the prefab spawning example, and the enabling disabling components example. I also have a Boyd's sample, but I will showcase that in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to see that in action. I'm hoping to go through the rest of the samples and use that as a testing base to add features to Unrust. I haven't really measured performance yet. On the surface, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference. But FFI has inherent costs. One avenue I went down was looking for the actual C++ functions using ILSpy that Unity C# -sharp site calls. For big scenes, NTD's graphics is eating my CPU, so it's hard to tell what is what yet. I'll have numbers soon though. I'm hoping to be within 50% of Unity's ECS's performance. Oh, the list of to-dos is huge and also forms content for future videos. Should we use Bevy's input or pass in Unity's input through the update call? Only transform and parent and custom components are synced right now. Lots more need to be set up. I would also like to have mono behaviors control through this. Makes it possible to do things like camera controls easily. Of course, I would like to do some performance improvements as well. It is still in the get it working stage. Make it fast will happen in another video. I had a lot of fun creating this. The source for Unrust is in the description box below. If you are a bevy enthusiast or a Rust enthusiast, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.